Hey guys, welcome back to Beam Your Light. I'm so excited that you guys are here. I'm back with another word, another video. And so I want to just share this word with y'all today that it will bless the many of you guys watching and listening in. And so let's pray and get right into this word. Father God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your miracles, your wonders, your signs. Father God, we just thank you for your grace and your mercies that come new every single morning. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you have your way in our lives. I pray, Father God, that you forgive us of our sins and that we repent, Father God, with a repenting heart and that we just lay all of our burdens at your feet in this hour, Father God. I pray for those that are maybe struggling in their faith. I pray that you just give them an extra uh, dose of your strength today, Father God. I pray that you just renew and restore their hearts in you. And I pray you give them vision for the provision that is ahead. I pray you strengthen, strengthen them and bring confidence over their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I was just getting ready and I felt as though God was sharing with me about being a good steward. And so um, one thing about being a good steward is, is not just like if you've heard it before in like a financial type of setting, God talks about this in all areas of our life, right? He, he tells us to um, toil for your land, but also be a good steward of the land and of the provision and of the fruits that you're laboring for. And so I want to share this word because it's such a blessing for me to hear this as well. Even though I'm like sharing this, it, it's coming back to me. It's a double-edged sword. And so when God was speaking to me about being good, a good steward, he really meant toward financially. And I know a lot of us need to hear this, including myself, because maybe we weren't raised in such a setting where finances were kind of talked about. Um, I know, for example, it wasn't really something that I... I was taught, you know, I wasn't taught how to be a good steward of my money. I was just told I had to be, but it wasn't explained. And a lot of you guys will probably relate to me on this. And so it's okay to be honest. It's okay to be transparent about things because this is how you make room for growth in your life. And so one thing that God was sharing with me is like, if God can trust you with what you have in this very moment, if you're being a good steward of what you have in this very moment, he's going to make room for more. He's going to allow you to take over new territories. He's going to allow you to um, continue to bring in more financially um, for you to continue to be a blessing to others. And so as he's sharing this to me, I'm like, wow, it's so powerful to understand it this way, because it's one thing to know you know, you hear all the time, oh, be successful. You have to do this. You have to do that. But in reality, God wants us to learn the principles of finances. And I know he's going to have me to teach on this um, and to share a little bit more through like a class. Um, some, he's been speaking to me about this for a year now. I want a good solid year about um, ma making a class and, and, and just teaching on this and um, just bringing a lot of wisdom into this because a lot of people really don't like it's not taught on how to be a good steward of your money. You're just taught how to make money. Um, there's so much that goes into this. And I honestly cannot wait to do this this class because it's just going to be such a blessing for so many people, including myself. Um, but to go back, I want to read a scripture here. It says in Deuteronomy 16, 17, this is the ESV version. It says, every man shall give as he is able according to the blessing of the Lord your God that he has given you. Let me read that again. Every man shall give as he is able. God is saying, where can you give today? It's not just financial. Let's take the financial side out of it because it's, it, that's part of it. But God is saying, give as you are able. What can you give with today, with what God has blessed you with? I'm talking about if God spoke over your life, a word that he, he's calling you to step up and do this. He's calling you to step out in faith and to go there. He's calling you to step out in faith and to continue to do whatever the case may be, whatever that purpose driven assignment is in your life. God wants you to work in that area. He wants you to be fruitful in your labors so that he can continue to bless you to be a blessing. Amen. And so, um, I just think of this, and then if you look at it, because a lot of Christians, I'm going to be very honest, a lot of Christians don't like to talk about finances. We need finances to survive. We need finances to get through, to get to the next next place, to take care of our families. Um, you, it, it can quickly get into a religious mindset when you put God in a box and you act like God can't do more for your life than where you are currently. And this is just straight truth, you guys. 
one thing God has been teaching me is that he's a big God and there's nothing that he cannot do. That is an actual scripture that he talks about. God works in the impossibilities. If God spoke a word over your life, that means it's coming to pass. But that means that there's work that needs to be done in between. And he's going to give you the wisdom, the diligence, the stewardship. He wants to teach many of you guys how to be a good steward of what it is that you have in this very moment. It could be maybe you're just in, working on your family, bring that restoration coming back. God works in all ways and every ways. Remember, he says his ways and his thoughts are not like ours. He does things so beautifully, so so strategically and so wonderful he doesn't he doesn't leave anything out and so as you trust him and as as you have faith in him he's gonna keep providing in ways that you probably have never expected and I'm not talking about financial but I'm talking about in many ways being set free being restored having joy when you wake up living in peace something you didn't have before so these are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. God gives us his fruits that we may walk abundantly in him. He says that he gives us life and he gives it to us abundantly. Amen. And so, listen, these wisdom teachings he's been giving to me are such a blessing to me because you, you have no idea. Like when God speaks, he speaks to all, right? We are the body of Christ. I'm here as a vessel to share with you guys. It is a blessing to be a blessing to every single one of you guys that is listening and watching these videos. Um, I get so many emails uh, of you guys telling me how much you are blessed by these words. It is the Holy Spirit that speaks and it is in our obedience that we receive and we, we gain that fruit. Um, and so I want to share Luke 638. This is probably one of my favorite scriptures ever. It says, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Listen, I can do a whole study on this. I love it. He says, give and it will be given to you. A good measure, not a bad measure. He says, a good measure. Good is good. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over will be put into your lap. For with the measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. So with the same measures that you're going into, whatever the case may be, it could be financial, maybe you want to sew, maybe you want to buy something, he's saying it's going to be measured back unto you. It's the same the same effects, the same law and biblical law of sowing and reaping. He says, you reap what you sow. So what are you sowing today? What seeds are you planting today? What are you watering? Um, are you working your field? If God is, has been telling you for months, maybe weeks, maybe years on end, he wants you to walk in a certain way in a certain calling, but you've been putting it off. He wants you to come back to that because that's where it's fruitful. That is where your purpose lies. And that's, that's what he has for you. And you could be blocking your own blessing by doing things in your own strength. God wants us to take on his strength, his heart today in Jesus' name. So I want to share this word with you guys. Um, I, If you guys are interested in a financial class where I can help and teach this, I'm going to put it together and I'm excited for it because I know it's going to be such a blessing. And so I really just want to bring this word forth for you guys that you are blessed by it today and it brings confirmation to many of you guys today and that you continue to be a good steward of your finances, be a good steward in your family, be a good steward in your prayer time with the Lord. If you haven't taken time out to spend time with God alone, God's not sweating. He ain't breaking a sweat, but he wants your heart. He loves when we want him and he honors us for that. Um, if he's wanting you to be a good steward and being diligent and you'll know because he's going to speak this to you. And so I pray that this word encourage you guys and bless you guys. Um, and if you guys feel the need to sow into this word, go for it. I'm not here to take anything. I'm here to be a vessel, but I, I'm being obedient in the Lord's will for my life. And so I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys soon.